Okay, so three diagrams, the this two line you need to cross out. You don't need to worry about this this year. Okay, we will do this next year. So this two lines is not useful. And also the whole section here, cross that out. The bottom part, we don't need to worry about this. Okay. <coughs> okay, so let's have a look what is tree diagram. When the tree diagram is helpful. So if an experiment involves more than two stages, Okay, even though it's two stages, you can still use tree diagram, but also we have the table, okay, we have this table. We can use the this table, and we can use tree diagram. But anything go for more than two stages, a tree diagram must be used, okay, a tree diagram must be used if it's a stage more, like more than two stages, like a three-step experiment. Say how I can use tree diagram. If I toss a coin for three times, if I toss a coin for three times, Okay, we can use the tree diagram to remove this. So if I want to throw a coin three times, so what will happen for the first time? The first time I will achieve a hat or I will achieve a tail. Okay, two outcomes. I list out the outcomes in column. Okay, what will happen to my second stage? For the second stage, okay, let's suppose if the first stage you have a hat, if the first stage you have a hat, then the second stage, you can have a head or a tail. If the first stage, you have a tail, the second stage, you can have a head or a tail as well. What will happen to the third stage? What will happen to the third stage? Okay, if you have a head and a head, you can also achieve a head and tail. For each outcome, you will have head tail, head tail, and head tail. Okay, so how we can read it? We read it from the first and take a second and take a third. So we will have head, head, head as my outcome. Head, head, tail as my outcome. Head, tail, head. Head, tail, tail. Tail, head, head. Tail, head, tail. Tail, tail, head. And tail, tail, tail. Okay, that's all the outcomes. And because each stage, for each outcome, you will have equal chance to achieve. Okay? For this head and this tail, you always have a half of the chance to get. So, all these eight outcomes, there will be eight outcomes. All these eight outcomes will be equal likely. Okay, will be equal likely to happen. So, each of that have a one on eight, one on eight. They all have a one on eight of the probability to get. Okay, so that is the outcome, and that is the probability. Okay, I have list out all the sample space. Okay, all of these eight outcomes are my sample space. That's all these things I can achieve by this experiment. Okay, if I ask you, what is the probability? that I will achieve two hats. What is the probability I can achieve two hats? Okay, I want to find the probability of two hats. One, then I will have one tail, right? Two hats and one tail. Let's count this outcome. Okay, I have two hats, two hats, two hats. Okay, only three of them have two hats. Okay, three of them have two hats. So the probability, all right, the probability of two heads will equal to three on eight. Because there are three events I have interest, and then there are eight things in total for my outcomes. So that will be a three out of eight probability. Okay? Three out of eight of this probability. Okay, that's one example how we can do three steps experiment. If you have four steps, you just have each of them have a more head and tail, head and tail, head and tail. Okay, keep going. So keep going for each stage. So each up, each step will write the outcomes in column. Each step will write it in the column. Okay, that's a three-stage experiment. 
fact, for some two-stage experiments, we also need to use tree diagram. We can't use the table what we learned for last lesson. Because, let's see this analysis of example here. Suppose a bag contains two red candy and one blue candy. And two candies are selected at random with replacement. Okay, be careful with replacement. If it's without replacement, that will be another case. But this one is with replacement. What is the probability to get a red one at the first time and a blue one on the second time? Okay. One way to display the outcome is with use a tree diagram in which all the equal likely outcomes are listed in column. So some of you might think, okay, I will have red and blue. So I'll write red and blue. And the next stage will be red and blue. Next stage will be red and blue. But it's not true. Because the chance you get red and the chance you get blue are different. You have different number of blue candies and different number of red candies. Okay? So I have two red and one blue. There are different numbers. So you cannot list your outcome like this. Because you have a greater chance to get a red candy rather than the blue candy. Therefore, we need to list out all the possible outcomes because you have two candies. So the outcomes can be red candy one or red candy two. Okay, even though they are exactly the same, but actually they are two candies. So you will write red candy, red candy, and blue candy. Okay, you need to list out all the numbers. If there are five red candy, you write red, 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 red. You write five red. Okay, so. For the first choice, for the first choice, you have red, red, or blue. Okay, red, red, or blue. But after the first selection, you put the candy back. You put the candy back. Therefore, the bag still contains two red and one blue candies. So for the choice two, you will have red, red, blue again. Red, red, blue, red, red, blue. Okay, you will have exactly the same outcome. Then if you count, there are nine outcomes, okay, there are nine outcomes. If there are nine outcomes, each of these outcomes will be one on nine, okay, the probability will be one on nine. So, in asking what's the probability that I want a red at the first time and the blue on the second time. So, I need outcome red, blue. It can't be blue-red because blue-red means blue first and red second. It must be a red-blue. So I'm trying to find the probability of red-blue. So I need the number of red and blue events and I need a number of total. Number of red and blue. So I have red and blue. Red and blue. I have two outcomes which is red and blue. And I have nine outcomes in total. So the probability will be two on nine. The probability will be two on nine. <coughs> okay. Don't worry about the bottom one. That's a year 10 level. Okay, that's a year 10 level. So that's a with replacement question. That's a with replacement question. It's relatively easy than the without replacement one. Let's have a look at the without replacement one. A bag contains five blue and three white marbles, and two marbles are selected without replacement. Draw a tree diagram to show in all the outcomes and probabilities. Okay, you have five blue and three white. Okay, five blue and three white. And you choose, um, okay, I want to make life a little bit easier. So I want to make two blue and two white. Okay, I want to make two blue and two white. I don't want to do that much, that many. So I just want two blue and two white. So if you have two blue, let's say what is the first outcome. The first outcome you can achieve blue one, blue two, white one and white two you don't need to write white one and white two you just need to write white and white you need to have two white there first selection is nothing different than the with replacement question but the second one will have a difference okay will have a difference so for the second selection there will 
will be three marbles only in the bag. You can't have four marbles anymore. You only have three marbles in the bag because one has been taken out. So for the first time, you select a marble, blue marble out. What has been left in the bag will be a blue one and two white one. So you write blue one, white one, and white one. And then if you take the blue marble two, you left with blue marble one and white marble one and white marble two, because the you were supposed if you write on this blue, which means this blue has been taken out. Okay, if you write on this, the blue is taken out. And now you write on this white. Okay, what happens after you take a white out for the first time? The white has been taken out. You were left blue one, blue two, and white two. For the last one, it's the same. You have to take the white two. So we have blue one, blue two, and white one. So what is the outcomes? You need to list out the outcomes. The outcomes will be blue, blue, blue white, blue white, blue blue, blue white, and blue white. White blue, white blue, and white white. White blue, white blue, and white white. How many outcomes are there? There are twelve outcomes. Okay, three in each, and you have four group. Okay, so twelve outcomes in total. Okay, and what's the probability? What's the probability? The probability. Okay, so that is. Twelve. So each of that is one on twelve, one on twelve, one on twelve. So you will write one on twelve to the end. Okay. Each of that is one on twelve. So you write twelve one on twelve. So I haven't really asked you anything. They just ask you to show all the outcomes and probability. So if I give a question, okay. Question one: What is the probability? To find the blue marble first and the white marble second. Okay, what's the probability of finding a blue first and white second? So this is to find the probability of blue white. It can't be white blue; must be blue white. So then I will count the number of outcomes. Give me blue white. Okay, blue white, blue white, blue white, blue white. I don't have any blue white then. So I have four outcomes give me blue white. So it will be four out of twelve, which equals to a third, which equals to a third. Okay. My second question will be, what is the probability to get to get a blue marble and a white marble? Okay. What is the probability to get a blue marble and a white marble? I haven't talked about. When I get those two marbles, I don't mind. I get blue first or get blue second. So this time will be the probability blue white union white blue. Okay, it can be blue white, it can be white blue. I just need two marbles. I just need two colors of this marble. So it can be blue white or it can be white blue. The order doesn't really matter. So that will equals to. If I use this to circle it, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight outcomes like that. So which is the eight out of twelve, which equals to two on three, which equals to two on three. Okay. So. When they tell you the order, okay, I care about the order. There will be less outcomes. If I don't care about the order, I just need two colors. Then I will have more outcomes. Okay, I have more outcomes. Okay, that's example one. Let's have a look at example two. For example two, box A and B contain four counters each. Okay, A and B contains four counters each. Box A contains two red and two green counters. Okay, A have two red and two green. B contains one red and three green. 
A box is chosen at random, and then a single counter is selected. Okay, I will choose a box first, and then a counter selected. Represent these options available as a tree diagram, and showing all the pol uh, possible outcomes and related probabilities. Okay, so if what is my first choice? My first choice will be a counter A. Or a box A or a box B. I need to select a box first. And then I will select the counter from the box. But you need to understand box A and box B have the same chance to get. Okay, there are two boxes. I just grab this one or I grab this one. Okay. So for the second outcome, okay, you have four counters inside. Okay, you have four counters inside. Okay. So there are four counters, but you have like you write on A, you write the branches on A, which means you will like you select A already and you see what inside A, what inside A. So inside A you have two red and two green. So you will have red, red, green, and green. And how about B? How about if I select B? In B you have one red and three green. You have Red, green, green, green. Okay, red, green, green, green. So the outcomes will be A R, A R, A G, A G. Blue, red, blue, green, blue, green, and blue, green. Okay, that's all the outcomes. There are eight outcomes in total. There are eight outcomes in total. Because on each branch, they all got the same chance to get. Okay, and each red and each green got an equal chance to get. So all these outcomes you find out, they will be equal likely to happen. So the probability for each one will be one eight, one eight, one eight, one eight, one eight, one eight. One eight, one eight, one eight. I don't have enough space. When you do this on the exam, you try to write it like in horizontal lines, okay? Corresponding, write the uh, uh, one eight next to the probability, okay? Write them in a line, okay? Write them in a line. Try to match them, try to match them. Okay, number B asks you. What is the probability of selecting box B and a red counter? Okay, I need to select box B and I need a red counter. Therefore, I'm looking for the probability of box B and the red counter. Select box B and the red counter. So, select box B and the red counter will be this case. Only one, okay, only one gives you B, R. Therefore, that equals to one on X. That equals to 1 on X. What is the probability of selecting a red counter? I need a red counter. I just need a red counter. I don't mind which box I get a red counter. So it can be box A give you a red counter, or it can be box B. Uh, box B give you a red counter. Okay. Box A give you a red counter, or box B gives you a red counter. So therefore, it is the probability that A R union B R. Okay, box A give you red or box B give you red, and that equals to okay, A red A red B red, and they're all green there. So you have three outcomes give you red. So that will be three out of eight. That will be three out of eight. 